Hi there, Sergey. So let's take a look at this new set of essays, okay? The first one is about your relative uh, coming to stay with you. Let's see what you said. Dear Mike, I am glad to hear that you are going to come to Melbourne this Friday and decided to stay at my flat. Unfortunately, I cannot meet you as I'll be busy. I'll be busy. No up. I'll be busy until late evening that day. But don't worry, I have a workaround for this. As for your arrival, I don't really think that it will be a problem for you. You've been to Melbourne many times before, so you can just get a V-Link train from the airport and get directly to Frankston Station. My apartment block is on the left from the station's entrance, a two-story building of sand-colored bricks. There is only one entrance, and my flat will be on the second floor. I'll leave the key under the flower pot near the door. Despite... Mm, even though it looks massive, it's not too heavy. Just move it and you'll see the key. I'm going to be home at around 7 p.m. on Friday, and we can go to the fantastic cafe, no comma, I talked to you about last time. They have an impressive choice of beer on tap and mind-blowing fresh fish rolls. I think it would be a great idea to go there and to celebrate your arrival. I hope to see you very soon. Best regards, Sergey. Okay. Um... Did you do this? Yes. Did you do this? Yes. Did you do this? Yes. Yes. You gave one suggestion. Let's see. Suggestions. Suggestions. Cafe. Beer. Well, it's kind of one suggestion. So if I wanted to be really strict, I could say to you, well, it's just one suggestion to go to one place. That's all you really mentioned. And then just like what you could order there. You could have suggested other things as well. All right. So that's something to think about. All right, because it says give directions, which you did. You said how to get there. But the suggestions, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. It would probably depend on, um, let's see. I guess you made more than one suggestion, but it was just all about the same place. That's what my concern is. But okay, I will give you the benefit of the doubt, all right? But keep this thing in mind, and it's better just to be on the safe side and give multiple suggestions when you see something like this. So really watch out for all of those plurals, like suggestions, resolutions, and so forth, okay? All right, so other than that, really good, nice language, no problems, good development. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, so now let's look at this one. This is moving uh, companies to regional locations. Let's see what you said. The issue of moving companies from cities to the countryside has grown in importance over the last two decades. While some people assert that it has multiple positive outcomes, numerous others contradict this opinion, expressing the opposite viewpoint. Okay, fine. There is ample... Wait a minute. Not fine. Let's just double check with the, what it asks you. What are the benefits and drawbacks? All right, it's fine. There are benefits, there are drawbacks. That's what you said. There is ample evidence that moving businesses from mega cities to the countryside has many positive aspects. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, this tendency is highly advantageous for would-be consumers as this allows... Uh, uh, mm, this allows the cost of the end product and services provided to be minimized due to lower rent prices. Okay, did you see how you had to do those syntax here? Okay. Um, secondly, pushing companies from cities. What does this mean, city authorities? Okay, by pushing companies from cities, authorities are decreasing overcrowdedness, that's a strange word, maybe overcrowded conditions, as workers spend the vast majority of the day outside large cities and do not contribute to traffic condition. For example, recent empirical research by the UK government demonstrated that the relocation of the UK branch of Coca-Cola company from London to Manchester resulted not only in a 15% less road load during rush hours, but also allowed to lower the price of soft drinks by 7%. Okay, no A here. Therefore, it is conclusively clear that moving companies from large cities has numerous positive effects. Fine. However, despite some obvious advantages for moving businesses to city, from city to countryside, there is a number of disadvantages. To start with, it would trigger an issue with transportation of staff to, the, to work, no the, and back home. Indeed, some people do not have a private car and entirely rely on public transport. Um, okay, and so what would happen? So you have to tell me that public transport to these regional locations is not um, available or it is very limited, which would thus create an enormous problem for the staff of these companies. Okay, you have to expand on that. 
and I'm not really crazy about this, the last but not least. Uh, another problem worth mentioning would be the lack of energy supply. Okay, this is largely because companies ordinarily have a soaring high level of energy consumption required for their equipment, which could cause a collapse of the local energy system. For instance, an extensive study by Oxford University has shown that in a, no, that in 95% of companies get rid of the A, which moved from cities, no comma, which moved from cities to regional locations, experienced issues connected with lack of transport facilities and underdeveloped energy supply. Thus, it is possible to state beyond doubt that sometimes the company's migration from the city to the countryside could have a negative impact for both local residents of the area and the businesses. Fine. To sum up from the arguments and examples given, it is clear that the government initiative of moving the businesses out of the cities could have both positive and negative outcomes. Nevertheless, my, from my perspective, positive, the positive outcome of this is more significant than the negative one. All right, it's fine. So there's definitely some nice elements here. It is extended. It is developed. Are there some errors? Yeah, there are some errors, but it's nothing too, too, too serious. You just have to um, make an effort to kind of limit some of those errors and to uh, avoid making them again. On the whole, I liked your set of essays, though. Great work. So go ahead and correct them. Send them back to us corrected. Add to your error correction list and write us more. Okay? Let's meet back here with your next set of essays. I want to wish you good luck, and uh, I'll be waiting to see what you write next.